Hi, my YouTube r friend. Today is day five. Uh, doctor, uh, help me. Uh, mend a, uh, embryo transfer. Uh, she said, um, this embryo, uh, is day four. Uh, is day five. Uh, it will become uh, breast cyst at midnight tonight, April six. So uh, we cannot do midnight. So, uh, doctor decide to transfer it uh this afternoon. So is uh, uh it was uh around the operation and uh, uh surgery center. Uh, at one twenty p.m. and get out the lab rest thirty minutes and use ten minutes for the medication, uh, table. So uh, get out of the hospital uh at uh five um five zero five p.m. So now uh I arrive home. So uh, uh just uh lean down on the bed. Uh, relax, and uh, everything uh, is home. So this table uh, is all my food. And uh, doctor said I had to lean down on the bed uh, at least 48 hours for two days. Um, so that way, um, tomorrow that time is 24 hours. And then, uh, Saturday this time is, uh, uh, yeah, so from now to tomorrow, today to tomorrow, so tomorrow will be 24 hours, and then, um, tomorrow Thursday, so Friday this time will be 48 hours. Yeah, so uh anyway uh doctor want me uh want me to see her uh tomorrow the tomorrow. Um so now basically uh I put uh, all the medication uh all the medication I did the whole bag, so I lean down on the bed so I can catch uh, any medication and uh, 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 so and uh, some medication uh, have drinking water, alcohol to clean uh, anything um, so right now I'm just laying down the bed uh rest. Mm, have a uh, paper, uh have different paper, you know, have air outside so when the sun hits the bed I will feel warm. Um just uh lean down basically. I can turn around but I cannot uh walk. That's why uh I put a bucket uh for me to, if I need to pee, so I don't walk outside the bedroom. Uh, I just pee here. Yeah, this room actually, yeah, just like uh, uh, I put some uh storage, uh, put some storage here. Uh, no one live in this bedroom, but because this uh have sun here, master room. But now I have a son, so uh, I want to lean down here and I want my baby to uh, feel the fresh air. I know it's a boy. Uh, after uh, day three, um, my uh, embryo uh, uh, retravel. Uh, the next day morning, I dream. I dream a boy. So I dream my boy lean down on my bed, so I know it's a boy. So everything uh success so far. Uh what I'm leaning down, uh just um make a video uh test frame. Uh right now yeah I cannot work uh because I cannot sit down. 
So I had to lean down So whatever I eat, when I eat, I put on my table, right? Uh, I think my body can move a little bit uh, I just want to lean down uh, Make sure my baby uh, can grow uh, in, in my outer reef So don't move this uh, movement when we're sitting down in the car, drive home, my husband uh, took me home. Yeah, it's a nice car, but every time uh, he stops to make my stomach feel, oh, feel big move. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I just want to uh, lean down on the bed, relax. That, uh, so, my husband helped me set up uh, this table, what I told him. I told him, yeah, put my iPad charge here so I can charge later. Uh, all the medication injection here. Uh, so all the food drink. So I want to keep warm. So when you keep warm, you drink inside, your body feel warm. So I just put the juice here, waiting for a regular temperature, a room temperature so I can drink. If cold, maybe my ovary feel cold, so I want my ovary feel warm. Um, yeah, I know outside is restroom, is just outside, but I don't want to walk extra step, you know. Uh, so I don't want to walk extra step. Actually, from this room to other master room is a little long, so I just put a uh, bucket here. Uh, every time. If I need to pee, yeah, I only pee one time, and my husband uh, helped me clean, uh, pour the pee and clean the pee. So it's easy uh, to pee here, uh, rather than uh, walking out, you know. I have been spending like 50 down in US dollar uh, already for five time. I never want to suffer uh, that too much, so uh, it's very, uh, very very difficult uh, it's difficult for money you know how many people uh, they can have fifty thousand dollars just all in cash that is just the the money that the insurance cannot cover and my insurance cover uh, all the examination blood tests but just for IVF uh, operation, uh, all the medication is held out of uh, pocket. Yeah, 50,000 that is not, I know, uh, it, it's not someone's fault, it's not doctor's fault, it's not my fault, it's not my husband's fault. Uh, it's just something uh, because uh, the God, you know, it's not God's fault. Uh, actually, not God's fault, you know. Uh, I uh, can tell you a story. I uh, have a very beautiful grandma. In 2013, my grandma was sick. She was very sick. So that time, she almost died. She couldn't eat, couldn't drink. She already had been sick for two weeks. Her breath is hard, you cannot hear that. Everybody thinks she's going to pass away. That time, I was so crying. I was thinking my mom. I left her in China. I left my parents, my brother, my nephews in China. Yeah, I came here in 2011. I was thinking. In 2013, I went way back to China and I was thinking if my grandma passed away, what my mom, how my mom can survive. I was so sad that day. So I pray to God. I pray to God. Let me finish my education found a job, let my baby came to the world. Five years later, after I graduated, after I find a job, 
that she's my baby life. Five years later, keep here with my grandma life. I give my grandma five more years life. After I did this, talk to the God. The next day, my grandma suddenly wake up. She suddenly keep drink soups. She suddenly quickly recovered. It's very unbelievable. Thanks God. And then last year, September, from 2013 to last year, it have been like uh, 2022, 2013 is about nine years. It's about nine years. My grandma lived uh, nine years after the uh, last time he got sick. My grandma lived nine years. In those nine years, I never have a baby. I do not blame myself. I uh, said that uh, last year, uh, I just received my master degree. So I graduated, I got my master degree. Yeah, and again, I got a higher back uh, from my company after leaving the office in 2020 during COVID. Yeah, now I have a job, I have a master's degree. And now, uh, I and my husband try to get a baby. My husband was not happy because uh, he wanted me to wait. But I can't wait. When doctor said my egg look good, beautiful. So I said, let's do it. Only three eggs. So uh, only one egg uh, is, uh, is bigger. So I did not take any injection. Uh, so the egg is natural. So uh, doctor only give me HCG. Uh, I forgot you know, to see one other unit. Only got one shot to call the egg soon after break, I think. Um, or the egg will break in 36 hours. Yeah, I'm not very sure, but uh, only that one injection. So this time I did like a natural cycle. Uh, after day three, my egg uh, retravel, and then uh, on day 10, my egg uh, retravel, they start recording from uh, that day from uh, day zero for embryo. So day three is good, it sells. So today is day five of childbirth. Uh, I want to see sex God. Uh, sex God for those years, like my grandma stay with my parents, my family. Uh, I was very uh, sex for you. I was uh, suffering. Yeah, I was forgot what happened promise with God in 2006 and 2017, 2016 and 2017. Yeah, I have been tried like a uh, four time IVF spend over 45,000k. Uh, yeah, it's too much money. Uh, we, we spend a lot of money and very afraid about it. It's just like a black hole. You, you, you feel like you, you just try to spend thousand thousand of dollars. And it, it's just lack of hope, no hope. Every time the embryo grew to day three, they stop. Uh, it never grew like six days, clear too much fragment. This time, last year, doctor uh, gave me a treatment for endometriosis. So I took like a uh, two month injection. Uh, maybe this will affect or maybe those years uh, my body more relaxed or maybe uh, uh, the the words uh, that I speak to God uh, is expired because my grandma uh, passed away. So maybe that uh, on day ten, I my egg is trial at the day. Um, uh, day one morning, uh, my bro day one morning, I dreamed uh, a boy. Uh, sleep on my bed so I know my baby is coming uh, I know my baby is coming so uh, thanks for God uh, I'm a little uh, 
uh, exciting, uh, very exciting. Uh, thanks for watching my video. And I hope uh, my baby will grow uh, healthy. Uh, I don't think a uh, how smart my baby. I just want my baby have a healthy life, be happy, that's it. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, God.